Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Alienware M16R2. To open this gaming laptop, you have to undo eight Phillips head screws. The captive ones in the front corners will slightly raise the panel up, which is a good starting point. Place a thin plastic tool in between the base and the panel and start popping the plate slowly step by step. Don't pry the back. Lift the front of the metal plate, push it forward, and lift it away from the chassis. This machine has a 90 watt hour battery. To remove it, pull out the connector from the main board and undo the eight Phillips head screws that secure the unit in place. The capacity is enough for around seven hours of video playback. To achieve that, you have to select the battery preset in the Alienware Command Center app and apply the Optimus mode in the NVIDIA control panel so you can use the iGPU when the power adapter isn't plugged in. Also, you have to select the best power efficiency preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu. The Adaptive Sync Plus option is activated in the Intel Graphics Command Center. The memory zone is covered with foil. According to Dell, the two SODIMs fit up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. There are no dedicated thermal pads for the memory modules. For storage, you get two M.2 slots compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The SSD here is protected by a metal cap that is fixed to the motherboard with two screws. The Wi-Fi card is positioned below the right fan. On the inside of the plate, there is a long thermal pad. The cooling has two fans and a pair of long, thick heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU. You get one more pipe for each chip plus four heat sinks and two large metal plates above the two dies.